So in Unreal Engine, you can combine text in two ways. One method is to actually use the append string node. So right click over here and then search for append. And in here, you need to select the append which is under the string section over here. So select it and you'll have this node over here. So again, to very quickly explain how this works, you can basically type any string that you want over here and it's going to combine these two strings over here into the return value over here. If you want even more pins, you can select on the add pin over here to add more pins over here. And if you want to remove a pin, you can just right click over here and then select remove pin. And there, it will kind of remove the pin over here. So for example, over here, I have the append string node over here. And in here, I'm combining the player's location in the X, Y and Z axis with the information from the get actor location over here. I basically split the vector pin into X, Y and Z and then combine the data over here in each of these pins and then basically print out the value to our print text over here. You can also use the print string if you want it. And if you were to compile this and check this out, you can see it prints out our text on the top corner of our viewport. And another common method to combine our text or string is by using the format text over here. And again, you can just search for this by right clicking over here and then typing format text over here. And with the format text, you can type anything that you want in the format input pin over here. So in order to add variable string or text data, you need to actually use curly braces to create a parameter, which you can then use to actually connect other variable or string data into it. So to kind of show you what I mean, create two curly braces over here, and then inside the curly braces, you can type a parameter. So in this case, I'm going to call it X axis. And if I were to press enter, you can see it creates a wildcard for the X axis. And similarly, I'm going to create parameters for the Y and Z axis as well. So if I were to press the enter key, you can see it creates these parameters over here. And I can use this to basically connect almost any other text or string data. So back in our previous example, if I were to connect the variable information over here one by one and then connect the output to the in text over here, compile this and then we are going to try running this out. And you can see it works exactly like with the append string. So yeah, you can use the append string or the format text over here to combine string or text values. So which of these two methods should you use? Well, both methods can be used interchangeably if you make some adjustments. But in general, if you are creating dialog lines or any text that is meant to be user facing, then it might be better to use format text as it's easier to manipulate lots of text and variables in it. Again, if we were to go back to our append string over here, you can see it's more harder to read what's going on over here since we are using variables in between text over here. Compare it with the format text over here, it's a lot more easier to understand what's going on over here. So yeah, that's about it for this video. Thanks a lot for watching and see you later. Bye.